If you were responsible for setting up a brand new university that lived up to the potential of digital education, how would you approach it? Or how would you reposition an existing one? Hi, I'm Mark Nichols, author of the book Transforming Universities with Digital Distance Education. If you're involved in this area, chances are you share both my frustration and my hope. Frustration that higher education institutions are yet to really make the most of digital education and hope that eventually someone will point a way for it to really make a difference. One of the key issues with most providers of higher education is that they are supply-centred rather than demand-centred in how they operate. This supply-centredness means digital education simply doesn't make a valuable contribution to overall education practice. The problem isn't what digital education is capable of, rather it's that deploying it effectively requires a level of systems change that runs counter to how universities typically operate. Instead of being changed through digital education, universities often just seek to add more flexibility to what they currently do, and inevitably this leads to unrealised potential and added running costs. We should be asking some critical questions. Why should students have to study to semesters? Why do they need to attend lectures? Why can they not access a cost-effective, high-quality education experience in ways that fit around real-life circumstances? There is no reason convenience, high levels of service, scalability and cost-effectiveness should not sit naturally alongside academic rigour and the demands of an education. In the book, I begin with an explanation of why digital education has not yet lived up to its potential. I also give an appreciation of formal education. What universities do is precious. They educate. They change people for the better. They benefit graduates, society and the economy. It's only once we understand we're building on such a precious foundation that we can explore how digital education might work. From there, I explore the different models of higher education, including on-campus, blended and distance. I then go on to explore the 11 tenets of digital distance education, which set the direction for the balance of the book. In one chapter, I demonstrate how digital distance education might be experienced by students and academic staff in a narrative format. The remaining chapters consider teaching roles, instructional design, and very importantly, institutional design and change. The book is written to make a difference. It gives insight into what higher education can and ought to be, and demonstrates how learning activity design and online teaching might function. Above all, you'll get to see just what a difference digital education can make.